camera goes. But I know some of the girls love to do it all over their face. I only use the entire product all over my face when I'm going to a wedding or something super special. But for a daily basis, this is like my my concerning area. Okay, and then I go right into my favorite foundation. I was debating which one to use because I normally change shades depending on the season. I'm using um, the beige and 200 lately. That's what I've, you know, sometimes my skin gets darker or lighter depending on the sun. Uh, if I go to the beach or stuff like that. So I just, I can either use my fingers depending if I have the time or um, if I have the time, I use the brush. If I don't, again, this is a five minute routine. I just place a little bit of on my finger here and there super quick like it really doesn't take that much and i don't know if you can see some of the marks that i have after my pregnancy so this is what I'm, i get concerned i don't put a lot i just start adding as i need it and i usually start from center go up and i don't i can really see myself in the camera so hopefully i'm doing a full coverage for you guys i like to do my um the, my eyes too I don't know why I know there's a primer for that but I just love how good this covers my skin so I do it it's like in out I don't press too hard because I don't want to remove the primer let me add a little bit more with the mask lately this is another area that I'm really concerned about so I try not to wear a lot of product here when I know I'm gonna have it, uh, my, my mask on me for a long time. I usually take care of my face when I know I'm gonna be on Zoom or, you know, on a meeting that doesn't really require me to, to have a mask. So that is it. If I wanna be a little bit more dramatic or professional, I'll do another coat of the, um, of the foundation. It's it's depending how heavy and how extreme I want it to look on me. So let me just see if I can cover my eye bags. Um, it looks so good. I look so good. Like I don't even see. I love it. There are no wrinkles, and I don't see anything. Y'all keep they're that, they're, that they're starting to show up. Like, I mean, they're little. They're just like you can see them. <laughs> but oh, uh, so good. I just don't like. Um, I know again depending on the day, but. I don't like it to look so cakey on a day-to-day -day basis. Mm. I do love the coverage. That's something I'm not always concerned about, especially for these spots. And I, I know you can- You barely see can them. see them, y'all. You, you can barely see. see them yes. there, there. So that's pretty much it. I let it sit for a little bit. While it sits Fabulous. there, I move right into my eyebrows. And I I love this eyeliner for sure. It's a Mary Kay, uh, the black brown. Um, mm -hmm. For some reason, I like to start with the eyebrows. Oh, it looks so good. Oh my gosh, look at her brows. Like that just fills it in. It looks so sharp, doesn't it? And I got That's my mom, so I'm very blessed that I have quite the amount of eyebrows. Because I don't need a lot, so I usually just fill the end. Oh my gosh, that's so fabulous, y'all. Again, this is depending. The drama comes on how I feel, whether oh, yeah. if it's like a special, special event. So and if I you want more drama, do you just put a little more brow I just, on? I just put more product in there. That's oh. pretty much it. Wow. Now for my eyes, I normally carry like the browns and the pinks. So today Ooh. because I'm wearing purple, I'm going to do for the, the first, it's a dusty rose that I'm going to start applying on me. Oh, I love it. And I move into the Merlot, which is a little darker for the corner. And then we're going to sparkle it up with the rose gold. So it's just three colors that I need. It looks good. I normally stick to, let me get my brushes, one or two brushes because I like to clean them quite often. Give me a second. So I have, this is the all over. So I start with the fluffy one for whatever reason. So I start covering with the, um, the lightest one. And this one does cover my entire, and I just tap on it. I don't rub it because I don't like to drag the product from one side to the other. So I just like to just touch, 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 touch until I cup. And I don't cover all the way up. I only worry about this part, again, when it's a wedding or something super formal, 
on a day-to-day -day basis, I just cover up. And I, can you see the difference there? That mm -hmm. automatically, for some reason, if I just, if I'm running out, this can be a ready to go layer for me. Again, I just tap on Look it. at that. Y'all, they can see it just added another dimension. She she has one color and that's it, y'all. And that just immediately makes it look so much better. Even if she had no time and could only do one. But that looks amazing. And now my eyes are super tiny. Um, I wish I had 70s eyes. They're rounded and big. Mine are super tiny. So I have to be really careful with the amount of product that I put on them. Now, again, depending on the time, let's say I'm running super, super fast. Same one. I just kind of clean it up on the YP on the side here because I don't like to combine it. And then on the darker color, I just touch on it lightly. And from the corner in, Ooh. I just um, press yeah. it a little bit harder there. Just, just, it's a little bit more pressure than the first one there. There, 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 there. Kind of a halfway of my, uh, to my eye. It, does, it doesn't really go all the way in because when I blend the colors, they're gonna mix. So let me go to the other corner there. Just tap, 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 tap. Can you see that? It looks a little uneven then. Let me just add a little bit more here. Oh, it's so pretty. Again, this is the all over eyeshadow brush. Let me get a fluffy one. So pretty though, look at that y'all. Doesn't that just look amazing? I'm super excited. Every one of us could do these eyeshadow colors, legit. I'm telling you in the chat, oh my God, everyone needs. I'm looking at y'all's coloring. Yep, all of y'all could get away with all of this. This would look good on everything. <laughs> yeah, right? I know, good to see you, Marsha. I'm so glad you're joining us tonight, yay. I just Don't washed my hair. Oh, I love it. Oh, so here, this yeah. is the last one that I go again because it's super fast. I go back to the rose again, tap on it. And now I start just circling all up so I can blend it in. It and I go good. back and forth, back and forth, back and forth. Onto, onto you can barely see that combination of different colors or shapes. And I even go all the way out because again, I want it to look pop or natural. Ooh, that looks so good. I like it. And then again, go back to the little light rose there. And I do the same process or step on the other eye now when i notice that i like added more product on one eye or whatever i just clean it up myself and i'm good to go so oh my god a little beauty and then this is what i do because i like to make sure and this is i guess another reason why i like to wear the, the foundation on top because mm -hmm. it just clears my eyelid because it's so tiny and that's it this is like five minutes uh of course mascara you can never never miss it for some reason i like to curl my eyelashes some people oh me too major 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 they're so yeah. little but i still love the feeling of it um i went oh, to yeah. a makeup class once and the girl was like oh you curl your eyelashes and i said yes absolutely she never does but again mine are little so I like to bring some oh yeah the more that she will curl and notice how she's she's crimping them near the base that's a really good take she's got some great technique you guys this is phenomenal really good technique they really oh, that's so awesome this weekend that you can actually heat this up with a dryer yeah. i'm afraid i haven't tried that myself so i didn't want to show that without first burning myself to be honest um, the I, mascara, I'm sure you all know how to do it begin because I have little bitty eyes. I start from as slow and closest to the roots as I possibly can. So this is my favorite one, of course. All the intensity. Oh, oh my gosh. I it's love so this. fabulous. I just go like from roots to, to the uh, very end of it. And then I go like dancing from side to side. Oh, I love it. And I don't know if you can see the difference. I, I totally can see it. It looks fabulous on there. Oh my oh, gosh. You probably see it better oh, than yeah. me. Yes, totally. You can see that. Oh, seriously. And my lashes are so tiny. Again, I was wearing extensions for such a long time, but I'm like, no. <laughs> right? See, there you can totally see it. And yeah, tip on the extensions, it can cause some breakage to your eyelashes, just depending on, you know, how you're, you handle that. So, so what I'm going to start doing, I'm going to place mm -hmm. my order tonight and I'm going to start wearing the, the or, uh, product to help them grow. 
Oh, yes. So I'm going to do a before and after so you guys can track the progress as well. Good idea. And the lash primer helps with that too. If you have kind of puny lashes, the lash yeah. primer does Again, provide. I do that for a more like prep makeup. This oh, yeah. Like, okay, five minutes, boom, let's go. And I'm taking like longer just here. Oh, no, I but yeah, it's fast. I mean, seriously, that looks really amazing. So eyes are done. Wow. I don't put a lot of effort into it. Then I'm going back to my darling pink for my blush. Ooh. And I'm going to use the, oh, well, not the powder, this one here. So this is the newest one. I love this one. I just feel like it's so pretty and fluffy. And I just again, dab, 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 get rid of the excess. And I go in circle emotions. I'm barely touching my face. And I just love how light it is because I don't like to be like super. <coughs> I think it looks fabulous. I can. I totally, I love the darling pink. And y'all, okay, what's your foundation tip? It's 200, beige 200, right? Yes. Okay. So just heads up, y'all. I was doing a, a color look with someone who had a the ivory 110. And we used the darling pink on her and it looked fabulous. And yet it still looks great. Myra is many shades darker than the ivory 110 you know she's in the 200 beige 200 i mean that's a huge difference so that's fabulous so for my lips again just to go with my sweater here i'm gonna use our rosette it's so Ooh, pretty love it and i already i usually and i normally have my lips hydrated so if you see them a little tinted it's because i use our mary Kay product especially in the winter with or without a mask this is on me. So they look a little tinted because I had it most of the day today. I'm not wearing liner. So when I don't have time, I like to put the liner. And again, because the mascara, the, the mascara, the mask will be on me most of the time. Uh, oh, wow. But that is so good. It's like she already had a tint because she had the, the pH lip balm. Oh, it looks so phenomenal. Oh my gosh. Now um, I'm using a lot of dark colors here because I want you to see it. And I don't know if my camera is doing me a favor, but this is it. Five minutes. Then here's fabulous. Oh my yeah. God, it's so like five minutes to fabulous. Oh my gosh, wow. And I'm done. Out the door. Mom with two kids. I don't have time for anything else. This is it. Oh my gosh, it looks minutes. amazing, you guys. Oh my gosh. Okay, who wants to talk about what you guys like the best? Y'all can type it in the chat. You can, you know, holler it out, wave your hand. Um, the lip color, that actually was one of our version that we, that they just discontinued. It's the rosette. The new formula of that would be the casual rose. So that would um, be the translation of what she's currently wearing. Or a similar color would be the boho plum. So it looks phenomenal on you though. I love that it was so quick. And okay, you notice how she didn't use a found, she used her fingers instead of a foundation brush. You know what? That is fast too. So sometimes if you're in a rush and you're like, I just don't know if I can do it. She did it and look how quickly and smooth it went in. You know, so- But I wasn't pressing hard. Like I was just barely distributing the product. When yes. I have the brush, I'm a little bit more intentional with my fingers because I'm touching and yeah. I don't want to damage my skin so much. I barely touch it. It looks fabulous. Oh my gosh. I love the brows. Anybody else have a thought? What's your favorite? Y'all can- I like I the warm. I think it's pretty. I like it. I love it too. Plus and she's my... got a beautiful face. Oh yes. Thank you. She absolutely does, Marsha. I but love you it. saw my spots before the makeup. You saw yes. my brown areas, all of that stuff. Yeah, I, I have those. I can't, I can't help it. Oh, yeah. But you can't even see it. You can't even see the brown. That's what's so great about it. I think it's phenomenal. Oh, my gosh. I love it. I love the eyeshadows. So you guys can actually, everybody who's on here would actually be able to use all the colors she, she chose. Um, the cheek color, like I said, that could go from light to dark. Um, the lipstick could go, and you would use the casual rose in place of that. That'd be a new one. Um, with the brows, I mean, I think all of you could do the, the same um, mascara. The eyebrows, did you use the black brown in the brows? Okay, it was the black yes, brown. Let me make sure. Yes, black brown. That's exactly okay. what I use. I don't know. So if you guys have her coloring of brows, that's the, that would work perfect for you. I'm a little lighter, and so I'm going to pull my own face in here. I'll add myself. 
So I use the um, dark, I use the blonde or the dark blonde for my brow. So if you're kind of like, an, or if you could be in between, so that could do that. Okay, I love it. Okay, so Myra, I didn't even tell her I was gonna do this. I'm pitch on the spot. So, because we like to have our fun hashtag Mondays of positivity, and I usually start with the letter M. You know, we did Motivation Monday. We've done, um, uh, what last week was Marvelous Monday. Look what makes you feel marvelous. We've done, um, oh gosh, we've done, I think we had, it was, it was like, oh, it was, it was like, we were doing like, we we're all going oh, on the screen. One time that was our, our fun. It's a Myra Monday. <laughs> I love that. That's so cute, Stephanie. So let's go with, um, I think we should go with another M word. And I'm thinking about something that makes you feel, we are just mar did marvelous. I'm gonna say magnificent. So, cause we're going into March and we wanna feel magnificent and be magnificent. So Myra, tell us something that you do or think or say or an activity that makes you feel magnificent about yourself. Inquiring minds want to know. When I work out. Definitely. I feel so much stronger. I feel, even if it's like the easiest workout of the day, I just nice. come back so energized and that just sets the tone for the rest of the day. So I come get in the shower and, it, it, and everything is just more exciting because I just feel strong. I feel like, oh my God, I was able to do it. I'm not a fitness person. I've never been, I've, I do it for the sake of health. And it just makes me feel so great that I'm like, oh my God, I want my kids to see that. And I think I'm, I'm able to transmit that to them because every time that I don't make it to the gym, they're like, uh, you haven't been today. When are you going? I guess they see that vibration when I come back and the day just changes their tone. So definitely when I work out, even if it's a 35 minute workout, it just changes my day. I think that's so good. Okay, so who here, and y'all could y'all have to raise your hands, but I will be the one to raise my hand. Who here has like slacked off on their workout and notices when they slack off on their workout and you can tell and feel and you're like, oh my gosh, I'm not feeling magnificent because I didn't do whatever part of it, right? Okay, so we all can admit we've done that before. So I wanna challenge everybody. Now, everybody's workout could look different. So like Myra, what do you do for your workout? Because some people might be inspired by what kind of workout you do. So. I do cardio three times a week and weights uh, twice a week. So That's work awesome. Out. Okay, good. About how long do you stay at the gym? 45 minutes. Okay, that's great. So that's your time for you. Yes. Okay, mm -hmm. that is great. So I just see, look at Jennifer in the chat. She was saying she's supposed to start doing things for me, but she's not figured out where the time is. So you're busy, Myra. What do you do to be sure you carve that time out? Or how do you make that time happen? Because we all have 24 hours. Uh, that's when I had a little bit of trouble uh, because I'm a mom. You can see my little one here. Um, they're my priorities. So I started setting first things first. So if I'm not okay, mm -hmm. they won't be okay. Oh, no, baby. These are special. Look what she wants. Um, <laughs> you, can, you can play with this lipstick. Uh, but um, I just, I, I get up. 35 minutes earlier than normal. I was waking up at 6.30, 6.15. Now at five sharp, uh, I get on the road. I make it by 5.15. I'm really close to the gym. So 5.15, I'm at the gym. Class is over at 6 a.m. And then I start my mom, whatever routine. When I don't make it like these days because it's cold, it's six o'clock and it's done at seven. So I just have to make the time for myself. If I don't, then again, Mom, if my mom is not okay, the whole house is a hot mess, physically and emotionally. So it really, again, it really changes things around. And I just, I just want to do it because, um, again, I want to kind of engrave that in their heads. I didn't have it as a kid. And again, I'm struggling to make it happen, but I want them to see that it's actually something fun if you make it fun, but that's how I do it either early in the morning or at six. Okay. That's awesome. And you know what I think? I love it. Y'all check out the chat. Cause Lisa was just talking about how, what she does for her workout. And so you guys can type in the chat. If you, know, if you have a certain workout that you do, if you feel like you're have challenges with like, okay, I can't, you know, like I can't lift or whatever for a long time, I kept injuring myself. And so I was like, my shoulder would get kind of stuck in one position. And I just, I couldn't do, you know, I was, I was having trouble lifting the weight and just even doing you know, some, something simple like a plank that seems simple, but I couldn't do it. 
So I just had to, you know, stretch that out. And I started doing some yoga. So that made me feel like, okay, I'm doing something. Maybe it's not as much as I want to do, but I'm doing something. So if you ever feel like, okay, I'm, you know, I can't do as much as her. I know for me, I can barely just the other day, I did 45 minutes of my dance cardio workout. And I thought I was going to pass out on the floor, like right there. So in my house, I nearly passed out. I was like breathing like, so if you're like a little bit on the more mature side, you could, you know, do a little less workout. So you don't have to compare yourself to like what Myra's doing or what Lisa's doing, but type in the chat other things that you guys like to do for your workouts. Maybe it's go on a walk. Maybe it's take your dog out. You know, maybe it's something like that. I used to do, you know, whenever, I mean, I used to just walk up and down the stairs. You know, that's an idea of something that you could do. So you don't have to make an, you know, you don't have to like, um, that you can't do it to feel magnificent so you can also give anything else that y'all do to make um make yourself feel magnificent does anybody else have any other things i hope that helps jennifer i see that yes i see that right in there yes and i have even done it where now that i just schedule it i go to the i worked out twice today and then i i have a um a turn i have a dude that i'm working out with to keep me stronger and so i just make myself go to see him for a half hour and then i will do it I love it, Lisa. Y'all read the chat. That is stupendous. The most important thing is not to beat yourself up. I love it. And here's the thing. Even if you're doing what's called the Miracle Morning, and y'all remember Mary Kay Miracle Morning, that is we do, our, we do our like a silence, prayer, affirmation. We do a little visualization of what we want our day to look like. We do a little E for exercise. We read, we learn something that's positive, and we write down something that's called scribing, something positive. Even if you only did it for one minute, one little thing, if you only just stretched for a minute, you're going to feel better than if you sat there and were stiff, okay? So that's like just some food for thought. Look at that. See, Sharon's got it. This is good. That's what we want to do. So those are some magnificent things. Okay. I love it. Y'all can keep having some other things. And I, I want y'all to keep Myra's face on here so you can see how fabulous she did such a good job. Y'all get Myra a round of applause. She did so, so good. I loved it. This is her very first time to do this. Does that even look like it? No. Right? Awesome. I, know. I was gonna practice but i said no i'm gonna let it be <laughs> okay way to go how do you feel about this myra tell my inquiring minds one that i hope i was clear i mean i i don't want to sound like super but it, it it was so simple it was just like three colors your foundation make sure it's clean face your primer um hydrate your lips or I don't know, just something with your lips, something positive. And just some color. Again, I, I range it from whatever, however, I fill in gloss. I added some color today just so that you can see it on the camera, but it really Yay. doesn't take no, not even seven minutes. Like sometimes I'm like, five, well, let's go. We have to get out the door. Um, and again, depending on the day, I add a little bit more of the foundation here. Some of those <laughs> I use the BB cream and the BB cream does a fabulous job as well. So you just make it work for you. Exactly. Yeah. You make it work for you. And what I love is this is helps build her confidence because she hasn't done this before. It's new. She had to just do what she was regularly doing. So think about it. Anybody can do this because she just talked to you about what she usually does. So guess what? We're going to have another master class at the end of March. And one of y'all gets to be the master class person. <laughs> I know you're excited. And don't <laughs> worry, we'll be talking about who is going to be. That's how that's gonna go. So really quickly, I would be remiss if I didn't just tell everybody, um, go ahead and think about any other girls in your world that you think would enjoy seeing any of our Makeup Mondays. And we're doing a whole new line of Makeup Mondays starting next week. And then of course, Tuesdays. Tomorrow night, we do have our, it is so much fun. It's from, at six o'clock, we're gonna do our Mardi Gras party and we're gonna put on masks. So like literally like your charcoal mask. Yeah, and, your char and all the masks. We're gonna relax and do all that fun stuff. And then Saturday is spa Saturday. So we do that the whole rest of the month. We have that available so you can invite friends and think of any other friends. So also any of our guests, y'all think of any friends that you think, ah, oh, someone so not really love this. Go ahead and text your beauty consultant who that is and why that you think they deserve a pampering. Your consultant will send them a little pampering patch so they can actually try some things, you know, in the mail and they get a gift card. So that's, that's something fun. Or you can choose another thing. And then two, reminder, y'all, we do have our, our Mary Kay business is on special. So if you know anybody that you haven't already said, hey, you should join our Mary Kay team. It's on sale. And one of the packages is like 25 bucks off. So that's another fabulous thing. Um, and now I do want to pull in my friend, Alicia, because she is a local business owner and she's a new friend of mine. And I got to meet her last week. She's part of our networking group. And so I would love you, Alicia, tell them what it is that you do because you guys might need her 
for her husband's services. And you can type it in the chat too. So tell us about you, Alicia. Hey, hi everyone. Um, so hi. I do, uh, me and my husband do plumbing um, and he started the business in October. So it's newer. Um, and we, yeah, we service the whole Met uh, Dallas Metroplex area and we go like as far as Salina um, and, you know, all the way down south. So um, we go far all over the place. So yeah, if you guys ever need anything, um, I can even post my, um, uh, what is it called? Info. Number. All my the info. things in the yes. chat, put your number okay. in there. Because don't y'all know everybody needs a plumber for something. The frozen pots, not, the toilet yeah. backed up. Yeah. You got an <laughs> issue. Yeah. Yes, definitely. So, so type your stuff in the chat, Alicia, and tell okay. us why you're typing. What did you like the best about our presentation tonight? Did you learn anything new? I, I did learn. I learned that how fast you can do makeup. I've never done it that yeah. fast. <laughs> right? I've never done it that fast. So yeah, that was good. <laughs> you did a great job. She did do a great job. I love that. Yes. I was going to say she, yes, she, um, she is phenomenal. And, yes. Uh, but yes, I knew, I, I, so do you do Sherman? Sharon is asking, and Marsha also lives in, uh, up there up north, in the north. I live in Denison. Denison, it's just a little north, yeah. Oh, that's far. I know. <laughs> we have done it up there before. We've done it up there before. Um, it depends on like what it is. If it's like a bigger job, we'll do it. But it's like, an hour, it's like an hour from us. Are you Everything's looking? an hour from me. Everything, Everything is. <laughs> That's how it works. It's always like that. I know. But yeah, be sure you keep typing your stuff in the chat for sure, Alicia. And if yes. you have any random plumbing questions, be sure you type your be website, all that good stuff inside there too. And okay. I'll definitely post her info because she's going to be one of my uh, Women Crush Wednesday people. Y'all know I love to do business owners on Women Crush Wednesday, so I'll post her in all my Facebook book group. And I also put it in, in our in our in our group so you can share yourself or if you need some help. And I also do that for a value added service. And I think, oh, let me see. I think, oh yeah, we're still recording. So I was going to say, y'all can like say hi. We recorded this. So that way we can post this also in our um, Facebook groups because people want to know how to do the colors, et cetera, et cetera. So, um, so everybody wave. I'm going to stop the recording. Bye, everybody. We're waving. Bye.